Harry, is this the next chapter in your career? Is this the next step for you? Um, I don't know if they were long years. Uh, I enjoyed my time at Derry. Um, I enjoyed being there because it was my hometown club and uh, the fans were great and everything about it was, was great really. Obviously we had a bit of a disappointing season last year but that's going to happen in football. But uh, I think you're right, it, it is a new chapter for me. Uh, I've moved down to Dublin um, and I'm playing here now so I've enjoyed it so far and uh, hopefully I can just keep enjoying it throughout the season. Scored 25 goals in your career. Um, a lot of people would look to the likes of Aaron Green this season for goals for Shamrock Rovers. But do you think you might be up there yourself towards the end of the season in terms of goal tally? Um, well, I, I think a few few years ago it was something that I needed to add to my game, and I did that. And I would I would like to contribute uh, goals to the team wherever I play, and I'm I'm confident I can do that down here, uh, and and add add goals to the team because obviously. The more goals that from all around the pitch that people are scoring, that can only benefit the team really, and uh, takes a weight off one or two players maybe. So it's it's positive if people are scoring from all areas of the pitch. Tim Sherwood once remarked that you reminded him of Roy Keane, and that's a man who's achieved everything to achieve in his career, from Champions Leagues to Premier Leagues. He's represented Manchester United at the highest level and achieved everything that an Irish player would want to achieve. Do you ever see yourself? Achieving those heights, possibly playing for a club of that stature at the time. Um. Well, it's a it's a lot to to, to say in an interview. Like, uh, obviously, you've got ambition to, to go and do the best that you can do. Um, and the only way you, you you get to them levels is by doing well at your club. And to be fair, my only focus is Shamrock Rovers at the minute. I've came here, signed here, and uh, I'll give me all for, for this club, um, for my teammates and for the management and uh, you never know what can happen happen in football, uh, it's a strange game so if you do well then who knows what could happen. You said recently that even if Lionel Messi signed for Shannon Crowe it would still be quite difficult to call the league, is the, is the league of Ireland that difficult to predict? <laughs> well I think that was blown out of context with a headline, um, I said that basically no matter who signs for a club you still have to work for the league title. Without hard work, basically, you're you're not guaranteed a title. That that that's the way I put it across. I think the the headline blew it out of out of context, really. But um, the League of Ireland, I think it's it's a it's a league where teams can take points off any other team in the league. Um, it all comes down to, to the the game on the night, but. Um, I'm sure Lionel Messi would be would be a great help help to any team in this league. <laughs> and then finally, Aaron, obviously there's been a bit of rumbling still about where you might play your international football. We haven't really come to a conclusion on that. Uh, obviously, Declan Rice has recently made a decision, and the mention of his name once uh, please some of the listeners and watchers here today. Yeah. Obviously, you're not really 100% sure where you might be playing just yet, but are you completely focused on club football, or is there any thoughts in your mind about where you might go? Well, as I say before, you've got ambition and to play international football, it would be great. But um, again, I'll say you have to be doing well at your club before you're going to even get considered for a call up to international football. So my focus is on doing well here at Chamber Rovers and uh, when, when or if that time comes, uh, I'll make a decision then. Thanks so much for your time, Thank you. Thanks.